another package from China. What's going on everybody? This is Jay from Maji and Jay and today what we got here is the unboxing of the Elphone P5000. I've been waiting for this device now for some time and finally Cooly Cool decided to ship it and that's because they are about to get into the holiday season which is the Chinese New Year. So I got this right before the Chinese New Year. I was extremely lucky and it took about six days to arrive. And this baby is very nice. It has very nice specifications and we're going to see that in just a moment. But before we get to that, let's go ahead and check and see what's inside of the package. And I got it through DHL. It took only about five days to arrive or actually six days to arrive as I mentioned before. And here we can see that popular bubble packaging that they always use. This is very nice, it's very protective. And here we're going to see the box of the Elfone P5000. It's a very powerful device. The only bad news about this phone so far is that it doesn't support 4G LTE, but everything else is very interesting about it. And here we have the American wall adapter, as we can see here, it converts it from European to American. This is definitely great. And then inside here, we're going to find the box of the L phone P5000. Once again, it is a very big box, as we can tell here, guys. So let me go ahead and clear the table for you. Okay guys, and now getting here to the box of this device, the first thing we can see on the front is the Elfone logo. On the sides, it's going to be plain. On the left side, we're going to have a barcode for inventory purposes. On the back is plain, on the side is plain, and then on the bottom, you can see that it is also plain. And inside here, we're going to find the Elfone P5000. This device has amazing specifications. And then inside of this box, we find another box in which we find the Elfone P5000. We also have this uh, tab right here. I think this is where all the accessories are going to be, or at least some of them. Let's go ahead and find out for you guys. And I think all we have here is the charger and also this little Android guy here. I think this is for the OTG, as we can tell right there, guys. All you have to do is just plug it in here to your phone and then it converts it into the USB port. That way you guys can connect accessories to the device because the Elfone P5000 does support OTG. And this is going to be the 5 volt charger as we can tell right here. This is also great. Now let's go ahead and remove this out of the way. Let me clear the table here and let's get back to the box of the Elfone P5000. This is very similar to other products that we've seen before. And here we have the actual device itself. I'll be going through the specifications in just a moment. It's actually quite heavy already. This phone, just to get started briefly here, it has a 5,350 milliamp battery. That's crazy. This battery is absolutely humongous, guys. And we can see that the body of it is very, very nice. Inside of the box, like always, or at least on the Elfone boxes, we find here the manuals. And the manuals appear to be in English already. We can see there we have the Elfone logo together with the QR code and then inside everything is in English. This is definitely great and they are um, designed for this particular model. They're not in general as we have seen before. And then also we got here a screen protector and as we know I do prefer these accessories because here in the USA we don't have anything that we can actually protect the device with. So when they come with accessories like this it's always a plus. We also got here this uh, divider. Now on this one, interesting, we have just the USB cable. This is going to be the micro kind. Normally they would just include the charger on this side, but in this particular model, the charger came on a separate box. I really don't see the purpose because it would have just fitted here perfectly well. Let me just find out. And as a matter of fact, it doesn't. So that makes sense now. Anyways, let's go ahead and put all this aside and jump back here to the phone guys. So that way I can go through all these specifications of it. Okay, and now that we know what comes inside of the box, here we're going to jump now to the phone. And the first thing we're going to see here is the 5 inch, and it's a 5 point multi touch screen with a resolution of 1920 by 1080. On the top here, we're going to find the proximity and light sensor, and I believe that the notification LED light is going to be on the right side of the ear speaker. We have an 8 megapixel sensor camera on the front and a 60 megapixel sensor camera on the back with the LED flash. This device is going to have amazingly a 5,350 milliamp battery and supports NFC. On the bottom here, we're going to have the menu key, the home key, and also the back key. Now the home key here, guys, is going to be also a fingerprint scanner. On the left side, we can also see here the frame. It's actually a very thick device. I would guess that this is at least 9.2 millimeters thick. On the bottom, we got the microphone, and then we also find here the loudspeaker. On the right side, we got the volume rockers up and down together with the power button. 
And then finally on the top, you're going to find here the charging slash data port. This is also for OTG purposes and we got the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. You can see here the Elfon logo and then on the bottom as many Elfon products, it says keep expecting and be surprised. We also have that same, uh, I would say soft finish, very similar to the OnePlus One on the back. I will call it baby skin. And this device guys, the battery is a monster. As a matter of fact, you can use this phone as a power bank to power other devices or charge other devices as well. This is very, very nice. And here we're going to go ahead and open the bag. I believe this is a dual SIM, dual standby device. And we can see that we can only fit regular SIM size um, on each side. You also got the TF card slot and this TF card supports up to 64 gigabytes. And we can see that the construction of this phone is actually very, very nice. Now I'm not sure if the battery is removable, it doesn't seem like it. But the battery here, we can actually see it from this sticker, is 5,350 milliamps. It comes with two MEIs and that's because again, this is a dual stand, dual standby device. And I gotta say guys that this is at least 210 grams because of the weight of it, feels very nice and solid. So let's go ahead and install the back here and we can see that it does support NFC because we have the uh, chipset right here on the back and it does connect from these two contacts right here. That's very nice and I'm also excited about the camera. This is a 60 megapixel camera. So this device, if you're looking for a nice economical phone and that at the same time it performs well, then this is something for you. Now let's go ahead and remove this protector from the front. As we can see, it has the uh, Elfon logo. Uh, these protectors for the most part are kind of hard to remove. There we go. And here we're going to see guys that the screen is already matching perfectly well with the remaining of the bezel when it's off as we can see right here. That's something that I do prefer on this phone as it does make it feel very nice and premium. And now let's go ahead and power on here from the side. I believe that it is currently charged. And this is going to be running the Android KitKat 4.4.2. And again, it has two gigabytes of RAM and 16 gigabytes of internal storage. Now I have to be honest with you guys, this device is not the cheapest out there. It's about $239, but again, you guys get what you pay for. And something that I can notice here from the first glance is that the bezels on this phone are very thick, but sometimes that could be a good thing guys, because let's say you drop this phone, having thin bezels sometimes can make your LCD crack easier or damage your phone a lot easier, but in this particular case, we can see that it is very, very thick, especially here on the bottom. When we unlock the phone, we can see the operating system here, very similar to the Elphone G7 that I got not too long ago. This device comes already equipped with the Play Store, and I believe that, like many other Elphone devices, we're going to have some other applications on here. We can see there the fingerprint scanner, but for Google, I only see here the Play Store, and let me see if I can find any other Google application, we got Google settings on there. We also got on this side, uh, pretty much that's all for the Google applications. We only have two. So most likely I'll be rooting this device and installing them on the system as I do prefer that method for those who know me. And then here on the bottom, we can find the menu key and the back key. The light is not too bright, but at least it's noticeable. And then if we go here into settings and then we scroll all the way to the bottom to where it says about device, here we can actually see the Android KitKat 4.4.2 in the model Elphone P5000. This is definitely great. And then this phone also carries the MTK6592. It is the octa-core processor clocked at 1.7 GHz, so it has sufficient power and that's why it feels so snappy and clean at the same time. And here also briefly, we're going to go ahead and test the fingerprint scanner. I believe I saw it somewhere on here. There we go. And now we're going to go ahead and add it. It says no fingerprint uh, register, so we're gonna go ahead and swipe it. And so far, it feels very nice. As you guys can see, it is very accurate. This is very, very cool. There we go. And let's continue to do so until the end. This is a very nice feature. And of course, it has been copied from the Samsung Galaxy S5 Elise and also the Note 4. There we go. And now we're going to set up here a basic password. Let's put one, two, three, four. And then let's do the same thing again. One, two, three, four. Continue. And we're going to select here OK. Let's put it on fingerprint unlock. And now let's test it. Let's turn off the device, power back on. And as we can see, guys, the UI is very similar to the Samsung Galaxy S5. And it does work. Let's try it again with my left thumb the one that I didn't record, and as we can see, it is not reading it. This is suspected. It means that it is real, guys. This is a very nice phone. I'm super excited to see it. 
And now even though it doesn't support 4G LTE, for the most part these devices don't support it here in the USA anyways. Now this time we got the WCDMA 900, 1900 and 2100. So at least I'm expecting that this is going to support 3G with uh, T-Mobile. Maybe not AT&T because AT&T requires 850, but T-Mobile requires the 1900 and 2100, which is great. And with that being said guys, that's going to conclude this video. And like always, if you do have any questions, please don't forget to comment down below. Please like the video, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and have a good one.